Well, the East Baton Rouge Metro Council decided to postpone a vote on funding a multi-million dollar project at the Raising Canes River Center. NBC Local 33's Jacqueline Kissick explains what a yes vote would mean for that facility. The Raising Canes River Center, a place that is known to many for having events, concerts, and much more. Well, we need to make some enhancements and improvements. The Baton Rouge Mayor's Office is offering nearly two and a half million dollars worth of funding for renovations to the center. Wayne Hawes is the general manager of the Raising Canes River Center, and he knows how and where to spend it. What can we do in terms of creating multiple programming for a lot of different portions of the community? The center has more than 10,000 seats, and with that many people, Hawes wants to do more with the facility. Create more events and more security. Hawes' goal is to fill them by bringing in hockey teams, building a basketball court for potentially hosting the New Orleans Pelicans exhibition games and high school games. You know, we can't just be stagnant. We have to have the ability to go out and, if you will, compete against our competitive set in the region so events come here and not elsewhere. The River Center is also hosting hockey events. In December, if all goes to plan with the three showcase hockey games, Baton Rouge will be the only major city in Louisiana to have a professional hockey team. The Baton Rouge Metro Council decided to defer the item for the next 30 days. Now, if it does get approved next meeting, the general manager says that they'll start making improvements within the next few months. Now, reporting from City Hall in Baton Rouge, I'm Jacqueline Kissick, NBC Local 33 News.